We are at NBAA in Las Vegas 2015 and I'm speaking with Nicholas Canelias who is the v general manager for the PT6 program. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. I understand that um, PwC has some big news on the PT6 at the event. Addison, my pleasure. Always uh, looking forward to MBAA. This MBAA, like many in the, in the past, we have something to announce to our customers. So building on over 70 models, 125 different applications, and 365 million hours of experience within the general aviation segment, we're announcing the 140A, uh, PT6A 140A, which is a next level engine for the small PT6 class of products. This engine offers 15% improved power, 5% improved specific fuel consumption, all with a, a, a leading uh, power to weight and fitting within the same envelope of the current small PT6. It's really going to boost our OEMs who are in this small class of, of engines, give a, a completely different approach to how they can handle an aircraft, whether a new aircraft or, or improve their existing aircraft. And really we look forward to, to this uh, as, uh, as we go forward in terms of it, giving that the boost to these customers. We always focus on improvements in conjunction with our customers, our operators, our OEMs, and uh, this will give that much better capability to our customers. It, it builds upon all that experience, uh, no uh, need to shut down or wait for the engine. PT6 has demonstrated our reli a reliability that's led to the creation of many different markets. The single engine IFR commercial market is just one and we're going to continue to work and innovate in this space to give our customers what they need. How much horsepower does the, does the new engine have? Well, it's 867 horsepower, mechanical, and this is available all the way to 111 degrees Fahrenheit, 44 degrees Celsius, so really even on the hottest days our customers will see a significant boost to the capability both on takeoff and on climb so that they can really do something completely different with their aircraft. Where is the engine primarily aimed? Which market? Utility segment mainly is, is our, our forecast. And what we mean utility is where customers look for flexibility in the aircraft, where one day they can call cargo, the next day they'll have passengers and short hops, and then they'll turn around and do a mixed capability, firefighting, medical emergency, skydiving, you know, twin and single versions of the aircraft. Really, this is a segment that is flexible. In, in terms of nature and is not purpose built and focused on one, one area. So, so really utility is a flexible, uh, diverse capability aircraft. For, a view, for viewers who may not understand what that really means, could you give us an example of which airplane programs would be f targets for such a, an engine? Not that, they're not that these are generally going to be who you are, but just to get an idea. When I talk about examples in the sp of engines, uh, aircraft that currently have engines in the small PT6 class. We look at the Caravan, which already has a 140. The Caravan EX was introduced a couple of years ago with a, the first 140 engine, and these are variants that we're introducing now. Uh, the ag version, the agricultural version of the 140 that we're also introducing today, by the way, is a similar version offering similar capabilities for the agricultural spraying market. Uh, this will give us tremendous boost in that market for the 500 gallon aircraft. These are customer segments that are very different and unique. In the utility, we're talking about aircraft like the Viking Twin Otters, we're talking about aircraft like the Pacific 750, the Quest Kodiak, uh, in the similar segment to what the Caravan EX is, and other very similar aircraft that either use a small PT6 like a 135 or a 27, a 34, and, and, and other engines along the way. We're aiming this engine directly at those new aircraft for the existing OEMs we have in this segment, and also for other OEMs we talked about today who are not yet out there, give them a, a significant benefit as they go forward. And of course, we're also gonna to continue to look at conversions of existing aircraft. I welcome uh, our customers to look at our PT6 Smart website. It talks about conversions of uh, using engines, including the 140. It talks about our opportunity to give customers a, uh, an option in terms of how they can overhaul an engine, whether it be uh, using exchange overhauls or using uh, other types of approaches that we've got. Uh, 
welcome people to come and talk to us here at MBAA or to look at our PT6 Smart website to get further information. Also announcing at this show a partnership with Garmin that will give that much more to, to customers where well, we both have worked together to make an interesting commercial partnering for customers who want to both convert or extend the, the life of their aircraft on the engine side and improve the aircraft by introducing Garmin avionics. So certainly something that we look at going forward is to continue to provide customers these options for them to continue flying their aircraft. One of the big things coming out at NBAA obviously is the new GE engine, which is a competitor to, to your PT6. The PT6 has had a phenomenal run. How are you going to deal with this new competitor? Well, look, uh, over 50 years we have continued to innovate. Uh, competition has been around for over for 50 years now, so it's nothing new to us and we will continue to listen to our OEMs and our operators and continue to innovate. The 148 is just the latest example. If you look at all the technology we introduce in our different engines, the 365 million hours of experience within this market segment, we take all of that and we put it into the, the right technologies for this segment to provide the best benefit for our customers. It's all about listening to your customers, it's all about focusing on what gives them the most value, and it's all about working with them to produce the best aircraft for this market segment. So we will continue to do this, and please stay tuned for everything we have to offer. Thank you so much.